This is Mary at the Marriott TA, and I am going to work along with Becky tonight. She is doing her Becky Borders on her stream on Wednesday nights at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. I think she's going to do a Dirty Dozen tonight, but she's doing Borders. I'm going to put Aunt Bex Creations. She's already started out. She's, now I'm going to put week one here for September. And the first one are telephones. And I didn't catch who, who suggested it because I just got here. <laughs> so I have these little fine tip markers. If I have time, I'm going to color them in. But she's already drawn some of these little cradle phones like this. And maybe I should zoom in just a teeny bit here so that you can see it better and center it. Plus, and this way. No, I always get the wrong way for some reason or another. And this way. Yeah. No, no, I don't know what way I'm going. <laughs> All right. So she's drawing little telephones here. She's got the little... I've got my iced tea out here in the shadow, making a shadow on the beach. Aunt Beck was hiding out yesterday, she said. She was in hideout mode yesterday. And let's put a dial on it. And let's put some little coils. Just because I want to. Now there's also one where what it kind of hangs like this. And how does that go? Well, I kind of forgot. We'll just keep going like this. It looks like a telephone, doesn't it? <laughs> and then it has the little dials, circles around in there. make the little coils. And then there's the old the old uh, one with the box that I don't know how it looks. What does it have a a little megaphone that you talk into here? Does it have a little crank on it where you crank it up? And it has an earpiece. I don't know. I've never seen these. So I'm just kind of drawing it from what I remember. I don't think it has a, a dial on it. The operator dials it. Let's go back to these. She's still drawing the well let's put a let's put a smartphone on there. Yeah, we'll put 
put a smartphone. And let's give it some little icons down here. Little dots in the middle. And let's give it a screen. And let's give it a YouTube. And then there was the flip phones, like this. I had one of these little flip phones for the longest time, till they messaged me and said, it can't keep up with the internet. <laughs> you know, little keys on there. And I'm not sure what was up in here on the flip. I don't even remember. The keys might have been all in here and the screen up there. And let's make a phone in a shoe. Like a Get Smart phone. Make a shoe phone here. And uh, these were more the office phones. Yeah. Now they just have messaging via your computer. Janice, I think, Janice. A stapler. It must be office supplies. Stapler. We're going to finish our phone here, though. And we'll make another coil. And let's make another little one in here. Okay, stapler. Stapler. A stapler looks like this. Like this. It has two little staples coming out of it. Let's see. Let's make it from the front like this. And then there's the little tooths in here. And like that. Make it go that far. That's kind of the front of it there. And let's do another side view. This is Janice. And let's do it again like this. Like that. Like that. Two little staples. And then it has the bottom part. Like, like that. Something like that. <laughs> let's, let's look at a stapler here. Oh, well, 
almost, you know, I'm missing this part. So let's, let's draw it like this, like this. Not all of them probably have this part. And then it has a part that comes out like that, comes like that, a line there, a line there, your staplers in there. And this kind of comes down. There we go. That looks more like a stapler, doesn't it? Let's do it again. Although mine wasn't bad. Mine wasn't bad. Let's do one more small one. Like that. This one has a piece that comes like this. Like that. this. All right, I'm done with my staples. I'm, I'm caught up with you, Becky. So let's, let's get out my, shall we make some of those phones red? Let's make a red phone. What did she say? Leather? Oh, weather icons. Okay. So, we're doing weather icons. Weather icons. And that was Sharon Lombard. So a sunny day, sunny day. So this is sunny. Cloudy, partly cloudy. You do some clouds and then you put the sun looking out from underneath of it, from behind it. This is partly cloudy. A rainy day is raindrops. This is rainy. Mm. A snowy day are clouds. And then you have a little snow. These are little snowdrops. And this is just cloudy. Okay. 
And then uh, I'm going to put some lightning strike here. I don't know where she put her lightning strike, but I'm going to put my lightning strike in there. And then she did a... What did she do? I'm not sure what she did with this one. I'll have to go look. Ray? Was it Ray? School buses? School buses. It has windows. windshield and a door kind of a double door here and it's got wheels <laughs> wheels <laughs> sort of an old-fashioned school bus let's see if we can do better I'm not sure what this was. I thought she put a smiley. And what was that one? I got to look. What did you put, Becky? Oh, a windy day. She did a windy day here. So let's let's make a slanty there and a slanty there and a big old and there a windy day I'll just write school here we're going to put a stop out there a little stop and then he's probably got two lights up at the top. All right, let's see if we can do that better. So there, let's put a wheel here and a wheel behind it here. And then it's got light blinking lights there and then we've got some windows it's higher line across here line across there that says school tires let's do a grill a fender all right Let's try another one. Let's make this school bus with a flat back. Kind of like that. Kind of curved up at the top there. Some windows. Now we'll write school. wheel, wheel behind it, put doors there,
wheel and a wheel. Let's do another one. Let's color it. What happened to my yellow? My yellow's gone. My yellow fell out. There it is. Yellow and maybe orange. So I'm not sure how good my yellow will show up on this. Let's make it. Let's make it orange. Give it a red sign for stop and black tires. This school bus is a rolling along. Some little seats in it. This school bus is more of a square school bus. He needs a fender on the back, though. I think this one here is probably my best one. Let's color him in. I like to doodle along with Becky. I like when she does these little border doodles. They're fun. Becky, I'm enjoying it. I think she's going to do a dirty dozen tonight, too. Oh, let's do the fender here. She's just putting in her seats. Yeah. Yeah. I'll put in little seats in the bus. Put in a steering wheel. And then a tire here. All right. Let's put another one. Starting here, I guess. Bus here. And I put in the tire. And the tire underneath. Let's do the double doors. And let's put in some windows. This one looks more like a, a van. Let's put in the lines there. And we need a windshield. And the lights on top. This reminds me of how all the school buses used to line up when we picked up kids. 
a big old line of school buses. Which bus do you get in? I don't want to get in the wrong bus. It'll take me the wrong way. It'll take me to the wrong town. In the steering wheel. This one's got a this color, man. Orange. Gosh, I don't remember what kind of buses we had. Bluebird. Bluebird sounds familiar, doesn't it? stop sign out here. A little arm over here to say stop. Our kid's getting off this bus. It's covered in on red. Let's let's make our staplers gray. This is kind of a green. I pulled the green instead of the gray. Well, we can make that one green. It's kind of a greenish stapler. But okay. Bus, our bus routes were about our bus routes were about a half hour, maybe 45 minutes. This is a gray one. my green again she was talking about walking up a icy hill they didn't have school that day she had to walk back and it was icy janice dispenser. Let's see. This is Janice. This is Ray, I think. Ray, school bus. And Janice. It's a tape dispenser. So... It's kind of round like that, comes up, has the little curly Q thing, kind of comes like that, and round in there, and your tape kind of comes off like that. OK, 
Okay, let's do it again. Around like that. Come like that. Comes up. Goes like that. Has this little jagged teeth. That. Like that. And your tape comes up this way. A circle in there. Circle there. And these little sprockety things inside. Little wheel things. <sighs> these are fun to do. I enjoy doing these. It's in the middle there. Around like that. More teeth. Around. Like that. I'm going to make the tape come off of it. Right there. I think she's doing a different kind of tape dispenser than I am. I'm doing the old-fashioned old kind. <laughs> Let's make it like this. I think I can get one more on here. Um, this one's crowding off of the end, but we'll get them on there. Now we're going to make it color, little color strips in here. decorative pieces in here. I forget what they look like. I don't see one from a distance either. I don't want to get up and go look. She was doing the office type. I'm just doing the kind you get at the 
I'm doing the kind you get at the drugstore or at the Walmart. <laughs> to do a hoodies, Joyce. Hoodies. Let's let's do one on like that. Like that. This one is not on. This one's not on them. hoodies. I think if I make these uh, slanted, I'll go faster. These I just made little squares, but let's cover this in for me. That's okay. Doodle away, Aunt Beck. That's what I'm doing. All right. That's what she's drawing her. A hoodie over the shoulder, like. Like that. We'll just put a head there. This one needs a head too. <laughs> he needs a 
in here. She's doing a, a sleeve. She's doing sweaters, I think. This looks more like a sweater. Let's do another hoodie. Yes. This one's looking down. Do a purple one, lavender one. And let's do a green one here. She's zooming along there, aren't you? Let's put the hoodie on this side. Let's make a, a tie. Something like that. I'm not sure I like that, but there it is. Just, let's give it a head. Yeah. Some here. Yeah. the back of a hoodie. Well, that shouldn't be too hard. Looks just like that, maybe. That looking something like this. And it's just all colored in. Let's see what other color do I have. This is a dark purple. This one, the face is all covered up. A what? Desk lamp. Dennis did a desk lamp. Desk lamp. Now that could be different things. You could do like that. that and then let's give it some light or you could do the old the old uh, gooseneck lamp 
goes right there. Or you could do one that goes like this. that just make it longer like that or you could have a long one like this and have it come out like that maybe Have your light shining down like that. Let's do another gooseneck. I like the goosenecks. Like that. Give it a platform like this. No, she's shining one up. Shine one up that way. go back to my hoodies. Let's do another another hoodie in here. That's his head. Kind of comes over like that. And he's kind of looking up. There, man. What am I gonna color it in blue here? A light blue. I like these. I like the back too, but we're just going to have one back. And I was coloring him in when she got me sidetracked with the lamps. Yeah. Let's do one more of it. Yeah, so let me Kim. Let's make him green. I think Janice. Let me write Janice first.
Isn't that weird? And the last one is car. Okay. Well, cars look different at different times. Let's make a, a windshield. And let's make a window. In there. That door. That door. That wheels. It always looks flat when I do. All right, that's a long, long car here. Let's do a short one. Let's do a hatchback car. I have a wheel there. And the door. And the window. And another window. In the front window. Cars aren't the easiest to do. Let's see. Let's do the back of a car. Kind of look like that from the back. You don't see too much of it. Let me just give it square tail lights. And a license plate, and a fender, and some wheels. Wheels here. And a wheel there. And let's see. Since we did the back, let's do the front. Let's make this one with the slanty eyes here in the fender cars <laughs> let's give it a hood ornament let's give this one a hood ornament let's give this one a hood ornament <laughs> uh, let me make that go up let's give it a front and a little, oops, and then just make the tires. Oops, let's give it a steering wheel. So this is where I start losing it when I go back because it gets smaller. Sort of like that. I don't know if I'd drive that car, but somebody will drive it. Surely they will. Okay, let's do another little car in here. Another little hatchback like this. that window. Let's get a wheel and a 
and their license plates. These are tail lights. License plates would actually come up there. Yeah. We've got a long window like that. A windshield. Oops. I got my wheels out of place there. Who would drive this car? I don't know. <laughs> All right. Let's see. I was I was coloring in the green. There's the hoodies. The tapes are good. Let's see. Let's get some brown here while she's talking and do our lamps. Go. Now, where's my gray? Let's finish my staples here. Stapler. Stapler here. Shall we color in our cars real fast? Let's make some red car here. Let's make this car red. There's a red car. This car will be green. She's asking for more prompts for next week. So while she's asking for more prompts, I'm going to color in my cars. We need a light blue car. Let's make this one light blue. About making, how about making this one a gold color? That's more of a brownish gold. Let's make it orange. 
orangey gold. And then this one has to be a black limousine. This one's a black limo. Black limo. And my clouds need a light blue. Telephones. Here's an old tiny telephone. And they talk into this thing, I think. There's a crank here, and they listen into this. Well, let's see, where's my gray again? Well, we'll make a blue. We'll make this phone blue. Now we need uh, what color shall we make this shoe? Gray? Gray again here. Let's make the sole brown. A red YouTube thing here. Put a little red hair in there too. We'll make this one red. And then let's something like that. I've never seen one of those in real life. Now, the only thing we have here is we need blue sky around here. And our clouds. Sunny, partly cloudy. Rainy, we'll all be all gray in here. Snowy will be white. Cloudy. And windy. One more. Where's my green? Let's finish out the staples. They're giving uh, other borders for next week. They're mostly leaning toward Halloween. There we go. Alrighty then. Let's do some. My yellow's not the greatest, so I'm going to use orange here for my lights. My light, light. And this light's going this way. Let's color the light in. There we 
we go. Cars. Where's the camera? I guess. I don't know what happened to the cap to that. It's not it's not staring at the face. It's probably fell off on the floor. Stop, Becky said, stop. She's got enough. look that's what happened to it I put it on both ends here all right I'm good with that now so there are my borders what we have here are telephones staplers, weather icons, school buses, tapes, hoodies, lamps, and cars. She's going to do a dirty dozen. Let me do the chat here until I'm here. Me. Here. All right. She's going to do some prompts here. Let's grab a piece of paper to write down prompts. And I already have my, I already have my paper all divided out because I knew she was going to do this tonight. I'm going to do postcards. I'll probably give all except for one of them away tomorrow morning in my live stream. She's going to pull. Mm. <laughs> oh, what we hold, we're going to put on the back. All right. She's going to. This is Becky. Dirty dozen. And this is nine four nineteen. Just gonna do the alternates. stamping I'm having a hard time hearing her curved lines add shadows Well, that's been interesting. One. What was two, Becky? Let's see. Oh, two, Becky. Come on. Flip phone. Flip.
I'm writing a hi, and I'm saying thanks. She gave me the second alt. I'm not sure I got that first one. I think you just stamp till you can't stamp anymore. Alrighty. Now, she made a rule that if you hold one, you have to use it on the back. First prompt. Stencil with brown. Well, that's a good prompt. Stencil with brown. I'm good with that. I'm good with that. So let's get me to, I'm going to stencil. Let's see what I have here for stencils. I have a stack of stencils. They gifted me stencils. Oh, of course, getting them out is another story. What do I want to use? <laughs> What do I want to use? I've got these. Yeah. I like those leaves. Leaves. You know, it'd be interesting to mix those two stencils. Stencil through a stencil. I kind of like those. I kind of like those. Okay, I'm going to like those. Alrighty, let's get up. Let's hurry on because she's not going to want to wait on me. So I think that I'm going to use this FW ink that I've been playing with during the. I need some wax paper. And I got my sponge. Now I just have to decide. I think I'm going to go with these. I kind of like these. So let's get all these others out of the way. Alrighty. Let's get a sponge. And I'm going to have to cut the... Well, no, I think I can use that. Alright. Alright. Let's see how this goes. Let's start out with. Stencil on. FW inks on here. I'm not done, Becky. She's going to pull. She, she goes speeding for me here. I 
I'm listening. She's buffering. What? I think she says add paper scraps. Add paper scraps. I don't know if I want to do that. I'm going to finish stenciling with brown and we'll decide later if I want to do that. So just because I'm holding, I'm not holding it. I'm, I'm finishing. I'm not holding. I just haven't got there yet. <laughs> I might do an alternate. ruler out of the way she's working on a smaller pinch than I am so she's going to go a little bit faster than I do and I'm getting ink up here on my sponge I might add curved lines I have to say, I think I'd rather stencil with paint than with ink on my sponge. Some of these aren't coming out the greatest. But this is the first layer, so I'm not too worried about it. my first one is done I'm just gonna this this is sidebar here I'm just gonna get some of this off of my sponge let's just sponge it in I like to do this it kind of adds a blurry background in there kind of ruins my sponge but it does a nice work on the page here. There we go. I like that. Now, my sponge is a mess. We might use the other side. Now, let's close this up. I haven't done prompt two. Um, if I hold it, I have to use it on the back. I don't know if I can hold it. Add shadow on something purple. Ghost stamping. I don't think I'm going to do the curved lines.
So if we add curved lines, let's just, hmm, let's just follow, let's follow the lines here. Somebody's being strangled by an orange cat. All of these lines will probably get covered up. But you can see I'm doing the prompt. I have to laugh at Aunt Bex. Now I'm getting having fun doing these. I think I'm done though. Let's just add it. Let's add a little darker line in here if I can. I don't know if I can. I'm not going to put colored strips on my page. No, 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 no. I'm not putting colored strips on my page or collaging down. She says they will go down, but it's nothing I want to do. I could see some autumn coming out of this, autumn postcards. Uh-oh. I think I'm done. I think I'm done, Becky. I caught up with you. I caught up with you. All right. Ready, ready, ready. <laughs> ready, ready, ready. She's got to run and wash her hands. She's going to give us the next prompt. Okay. Ah. Ready, 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 Becky. She's going to give us the next prompt. Oh, she's still gluing down. They work good through. Huh? The kitty is the sweetest purring boy. He's my lovely boy, I tell him. Talking about her kitty cat. I'm watching that back. So far, she's got, looks like she's putting tissue down, napkin pieces. All right. All right. Next prompt coming up. 
We're ready. Ready, ready, ready. All right. Don't glue it to your thing. Chi home. Geometric shapes. I've got geometric shapes. Well, you know what I think I'll do? Let's get out those stencils again. Geometric. How about some of those squares? I kind of kind of wish they were larger though. Geometric shapes. She's going to wash her hands. That'll give me time to look at my stencils. I've got triangles. Yeah. I guess I'm going to use those little squares. I got dots in here someplace. Geometric shapes. Uh, I think I'm going to go with either the dots or the squares. And right now I'm leaning toward the squares. I don't think I'm going to go with the triangles. Let's. Let's just draw some squares. Let's see how that looks. Geometric shapes. I kind of like that. Do you know what? I think I can do better without the stencil. Let's see. I'm just going to put in squares. I got stencil inspired. I also lost the cap to my pen. <laughs> Probably fell on the floor. I'll probably give all except for, well, I think I'll continue to send one to Aunt Beck. And Aunt Beck, if you're listening, you don't have to send to me. You send to other people. But I've got eight of them here. So I'll probably keep, I'll probably keep uh, two, one for me and one for Aunt Beck and give away the other four in my stream tomorrow morning. I might do postcards tomorrow morning. My September theme was postcards and letters. <laughs> At, um, My theme was postcards and letters, and I chose that theme. Oh, before I before the eighteenth of August, so that has been my theme for August for a pretty long time. So. I think I'm going to just continue with postcards. And I, I want to get out some of those postcards that I got at the thrift store. And maybe I'll get inspired by some of those. I kind of like what's going on here.
Bokeh. Bokeh. Bokeh, B-O-K-E-H. She's going to show how to do that. B-O-K-E-H. I've never done that. She's going to show how to do that, so I'm going to watch her do that. Repeated stamping without re-inking, I think. So it's kind of like ghost stamping. I might do that with um, text on here. Only I'm not going to use paint. Supposed to be circle? Well, mine might be text. Sorry about that. Because <laughs> I can see text going on behind, under this if I do it. She's explaining the B-O-K-E-H. I don't know if I'm going to do mine in white, though, because I don't really have white ink pad. Yeah. I like that. So while she's doing that, I'm going to look for the cap to my pen. What I do with things. I think it fell on the floor. Let me put my pen in there. Let's scoop my chair back. Yep, there it is. Mm -hmm. Is that it? Yep. Was it easy to find? Oh, she's stamping with an eraser. I might be able to do that with white. We'll, we'll think about that one. I like the idea of doing it with with text. So far, so good, Beck. I've stenciled with brown. I did alternate curves. And I did geometric shapes. So we're ready for prompt four. Ready, ready, ready. Ready, ready, ready. <sighs> that circle effect might be fun on here, though. But we're not going to do that. That's an alternate. We'll hold on to that. We'll see if I need it later. She's cleaning up her... She's cleaning up her work area. Oh, yeah, back. <sighs> if I turn around and get my stamp, she'll call the next prompt. Call the next one. Mary's going to call the next one. She is. <laughs> All right. I'll do that too. Prompt four is add border. Add border. Hold. And then I'm going to put back. So she's going to pull five.
Squares? Squares. <laughs> I just did squares. Squares. I just did squares. What am I going to do? I could do squares in my circles here with this purple pen. Sort of like, like they're hiding in there. It didn't say they had to be colored in. All right, squares it is. You wanted squares. This is really geometric, I'll have to tell you. I don't really work geometric. I'm not a geometric person. But I am when they do the prompts. I don't want to hold squares on the back. There were my squares. I'm going to finish coloring. She said some of them can disappear. I've already done that. I'm not coloring mine in either. They're just lines on the page. You can see them there, there, there. Oops. Let's make a square here. Square. 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 I've got them pretty much in there. I'm coloring in these little squares with a permanent marker. I got squares, but I guess big squares and little squares kind of go, don't they? So I'm pretty good with that because I don't want to put them on the back. Becky made the rules. I don't want to break it. Although I could rebel. <laughs> Oh, she's going to catch up with chat, so I'm going to go get my text stamp while she's doing that. Just hold the phone a minute and we get my text stamp because I know I'm wanted. And I know it's at the bottom of one of these boxes. So I have to just, I put all that stuff in a box because it was scattered all over the place. Now I have to dig to the bottom of the box when I want stuff. Of course, it's not the top box either. It's the box under the box. Yeah. Not there. Hmm. Uh, well, what do you put it here? Well, here it is. At least I knew where it was. At least I knew where it was. I might do that. Boca, whatever it is, with that text stamp. Box it back. Okie dokie, let's see what she's saying. Oops, I knocked the basket over. <laughs> Somebody sent this to me. Or did I cut this out? Dance of the Mushrooms? I don't know. It's a fussy cut. I knocked the basket over and you heard that noise. Okay. So I did squares. I did squares, Becky. Number six. I really wanted this to go fall. I don't 
know. I don't. I, the colors are fall, but uh, I don't know. Uh, me too. Let's move on. Prompt six. Add dots. Add dots. Yeah, I like the idea of white paint or maybe a gold paint. Orange. Orange would be nice too. She's going to use orange. I might use red. This red is a crimson color. It's kind of a... And... Uh, oh my goodness. One of another one. <laughs> all my erasers are gonna have, all my pencils are gonna have paint on the the eraser. All right, let's put this back underneath. Probably should shake this a little. Add dots. We got dots and squares, and oh my, this is so geometric. Come on. Ooh, that's a lot. We'll see how it works. Okay, let's let's add dots. <laughs> Cat's jumping up on our piece. This eraser's been used. I don't have to make them all the same color. Let's go get. Oh, everything's falling. You know, I need to get some different yellows. What do I have out here? I've got a yellow out here. I've got this full card yellow. I need to finish Mitzi's. Well, that doesn't show up too well. Yellow doesn't show up good. I'm going to do them anyway. You know, I'm going to have to scrape paint. This is way too geometric for my taste. Way too geometric, Beck. I've got squares and circles and stencils. and This is way too geometric. Mary doesn't look this geometric. Dots and squares. And I put squares, little squares with the stencil. Becky, Becky, Becky. She's going to go let Howie in. The yellow's not showing up, so I'm doing most of these in red. 
simply because I want to get them done. Way too geometric for me, Aunt Beck. I'm going to have to scrape paint. Or maybe do a point seven stamp with a household item. Yeah. Stamp with a household item is prompt seven. I'm still working on prompt six. Seven. Stamp with household item. Yeah. I always go for the bottle cap or the This is too, way too geometric for me. I liked it until we did all of this. I should have held these dots for the back. Can eraser be a household item? Household item. I'm going to have to think about the household item. I don't keep any household items close by. I could stamp with wax paper. I think that's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do here. Here's what I'm going to do. I'll squeeze out more of this. Yeah. And let's squeeze out more of this. Yeah. And let's... Let's scrape it. She's scraping hers. <laughs> Except I'm going to do the smoosh. I'm going to do the the uh, Shannon smoosh here. Wax paper technique. Wax paper is a household item. Oh. Let's do. Let's do it this way because this is, I need this. I need, the, this is too geometric for me. I need some. This is the stamping part. And then you lift it up. <gasps> Ooh, that's pretty. There's a lot of smush right in here. Let's see if I can't bring it over. This is stamping. There's too much paint on here. Let's lift some of that up.
it was too geometric for me. I've messed up my sheet here, but it's still too geometric. That's my stampin'. See, I'm stampin'. I'm stampin' with wax paper. Wax paper is a household item. All right. <laughs> Aww. He's giving me time to dry mine. That changed the picture. Not so geometric now. You can still see the geometry behind it. My household item was wax paper. Okay. If it's that red, I'm going to spin it. Use markers. Well, I've been using markers. Me too. Hold. Add dot eight is use markers. Oh, back. The square ones are going on back. Now, tomorrow morning, I will not be on as long. Probably till about 6.15. I'll try to get on at 4.30, but I will not be on till 7.30 tomorrow, Thursday morning. Okay, pull away. Scribble journal. Okay. Nine. Scribble journal. I don't know if I can scribble journal over that while this paint is still wet. Let's do some more drying. I like the idea of scribble journaling. Maybe with a paintbrush? Do some art today. Do some art today. Could I paint that on? And scribble letters. And black. Let's go back to my wax paper. And let's get out the black. And we need a decent paintbrush that I'm not using for watercolor. One that I can write with, though. How about this one? 
It's a nicer one. I need to get me some crappy brushes. I guess I'll use it and wash it out good. All right, let's turn it this No, let's do it this way. Well, no, let's do it this way. Now, whoever gets this will not know that it says do some art today. And I'll probably, I'll probably make it, uh, into do some, see it's supposed to be scribbly. And I'll probably make this into a fall tree or something. Art. Today. Let's do it this way again. Do some Art today. Let's turn it this way. Becky, I'm not ready. Do go oh, talk to your community. <laughs> Read your chat. Some art today whoops it's kind of fun to do this it got rid of all the geometry that's for sure You was complaining about the geometry. Art. Today. Do. Some art today. Two more. Two more. Do some uh, art today one more do Um, art. All right, all right, I'm getting there. She's calling 10. Yellow flowers. Oh, perfect. Oh, perfect. I can do yellow flowers on that. I can do, I can do yellow flowers on there. Let's wash this brush out good, though. Let's do sponge some of these. Oh, yellow. But I have to dry this first. I have to dry first, Becky. I'll <laughs> find my heat gun. 
my heat gun fell on the I have to dry this good before I stencil my yellow flowers. Yellow flowers will be perfect on here. Perfect all yellow flowers. get out my sponge again. I don't know if I can use the same one. Let me get the, my big stencil that I like so well. It's way down at the bottom. <laughs> oh my, you guys, I need to clean after every... <sighs> I like these little yellow flowers, but let me tell you, this stencil is getting so... so used let's get out a sponge here and let's cut this yeah all right we'll leave my black there i got too much out but that's okay i didn't know how much i was going to need i don't know how much yellow i'm going to need Let's put my earbuds back in. Let's do, let's do this. You know, I think I'm going to have to add some white to that because this folk art is usually pretty thick, but it's not showing up on my Let's mix it. Let's see if that helps me any. No, I don't know. I don't know if these little ones are going to show. I think I'm going to have to do the bigger flowers. Of the page here with all my yellow. Oh, I like that. Oh, I like it. It's working for me. Let's do one in here. I'm going to have to mix more paint. Oh, 
I love little Bernadette. <laughs> I love Bernadette. Little red clay isn't going to hurt her. <laughs> Aw. 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 I love Bernadette. She's so cute. I love to watch Becky talk to her. Alrighty, let's see. Let's put it in here. Oh, shoot. She's talking about my watercolor, my watercolor wipe offs. Becky was talking about them. Yeah, I'll probably cut these up and give them away tomorrow, except for the two that I'm going to save. I'm going to have to have more yellow and white here. Becky's probably done, but she's she's talking to the cat, so I got a little more time. I'm oh good. Good for her kid. Now I can catch up. <laughs> oh no, Becky. No, I'm not ready yet. <laughs> She's going to call 11. I didn't get 10 written down. I'm too busy doing it. She must have heard me. She hasn't called it yet. to disconnect. It's okay to disconnect every now and then. All right, eleven. Use a sponge. I'm using a sponge. <laughs> oh dear. Scribble journal's done. Ten is yellow flowers. Yellow flowers. She's gonna pull eleven and twelve. That's done. Use sponge. No, that's not cheating. Go for it. Well, read it. Add blue. I'll decide. I'm gonna, I'll decide in a minute. Add blue or use a sponge. I'm using a sponge to do my flowers. You know what I'm going to do? I want a sponge... I'm going to sponge between these flowers to tie them together like I did with that brown. I think I will. I think I will. Let's hurry and do this. Oh, I put it in my paint. Get out of there. I got the pretty on the back. Black on the, honestly, black on my fingers. I don't have it on my shirt yet. I should have changed this shirt. You know. <laughs> oh dear. Now I think. I think what I'm going to do. Is pull that. Oh I'm loving that. Oh I love it Becky. But what I'm going to do here, let me get my sponge, my stencil put aside here. Hopefully this won't ruin it. Use sponge. What I want to do is kind of pull these together with a little light sponging in between. Light sponging in here. I want my orange to still show. 
she's going to sponge the back with the blue, but I think I'm going to... Yeah, I think I like this. See, I'm just doing it lightly because I still want my orange and black to show through. Just kind of pull it lightly. Kind of a pretty haze on it. I like this. I like to do the prompts as you read them because I'm one who I look at all the prompts and then I'm a planner. I have to say if I if I look at these prompts, I'll say, okay, I'm gonna use this prompt for this and that prompt for that. When I don't know what they are, it's a lot more spontaneous. She's saying you can go back and use any prompt that you want. I don't know. I kind of like these just... I got scissors in the way here. I'm going to have to add a little color to my sponge here to get it where I want it. Oh, I'm liking it. I've got to do some down in here. And I think that I saved the same prompts for the back that Becky did. Oh, I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. Now, I do think it needs more, though. I think I'll put do some art today in... But I'll do that later. All right. She's going to do the back in blue. And you know what? I don't like the blues that I have. Um, hmm. I've got, if I water it down, if I water it down, this one might work. Let's get rid of this. And let's get more wax paper here. All right, let's write this down. Uh, use sponge. I use the sponge to smear. Smear. Add blue is going to be a hold for back. Um, use marker, that's a hold for back. 12, 8, and add borders hold for back. I did all the other prompts, except I use an alternate for, I don't like to collage on my postcards. I'm not that confident that it's going to go through. So what I want to do here is do a really light wash blue. A real light. That's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. 
or I, I'm not going to sponge. I'm going to use, I'm going to use a brush. Let's put that there. And I don't know how black is my brush. My water is yucky. She's she's applying hers with a sponge. I want to make a a wash, a really light wash. So let's bring this out on top. <laughs> she said she's gonna spray too. Ooh, this is really runny anyway. So this will make a nice wash. Let's add some water to it. And uh, let's see what happens. I'm gonna. I want mine. Let's let's put water on my page too. I think Becky did that. I'm gonna do the same thing, Beck. I want mine to be a really pretty light blue wash, and I'll have to dry this real good. Oh, look at that. Look at it go. Now, can I dry this before I do it again? I don't like it in puddles, puddled in spaces here. Let's just keep swirling it. It is really wet, and my page is curved, so my, let's get out my heat gun again, wherever it flew off to. What did I do with it? Help. Where'd my heat gun go? Honestly. My phone cord's in the way. My earbuds. Here it is. See how that puddled in the center there? I want to get rid of that. Let's take a towel and slap that up in the center. It's wet enough that I can do that. Let's just drink it. Drink it. It didn't say we couldn't do it with a towel, did it? Ooh, I like. Let's, let's suck up some of this water with the towel before I dry it. This good thing this is watercolor paper. Because it take it'll take the abuse. Let's do another sheet here. And let's just see that will give me the ability to write on the back. And it'll just be kind of like a light blue. Let's see if I can put a little more blue on though. Kind of sponge it on. Pat it on sponge. out of the way. I can't hear what Aunt Becca's doing. I think she's getting ready to cut hers. Yeah, I got everything in the way here and I'll be hunting for stuff tomorrow morning. Too dark. 
I don't know. I don't think the speed of my res of my uh, live stream. I, I don't know. Sometimes it's not working for me, and I'm going to throw this away because it's bugging me. And put this in my. Now let's give this a good dry and let's go listen to. I got my earbuds out, so I don't know what Aunt Beck is saying. Let's hear what she's saying here. So my 12 is on the back, and I got add border and use marker. And I'll usually use the marker to add the messy. Let's get this a good dry. Now, I'm hoping this paper didn't shrink, but when I cut it, I'll cut it with the, I will cut it with the uh, trimmer, so if it shrinks, I don't know, but I think I'll still have the right sizes, I think I'll still be able to get eight out of here, but. I think I'm done with all of this except for doing the back. Let's flip it over. Ah! <laughs> really bright, isn't it? I need to do something to the front of these. I think in a silhouette with me eyes, wouldn't it? After I cut it, add a silhouette, um, like a dragonfly, or uh, we'll have to see. I'll see what I have before I come on live tomorrow. I've got a wooden dragonfly shape, but I don't know where it's at. It's drying. <laughs> and Beck said, is it doing anything? Is it doing anything? <laughs> She's drying hers now, too. Mine was really sloppy more. But they'll, they'll shape up. They'll shape up. After you get them cut and stack them up, put something heavy on top of them. See, I'm going to have splatter on here. Whatever's on my desk. I think I got it from up there. I'm not guaranteeing the back of the postcards are going to be clean. Alright, let's go ahead and cut these. And I'm thinking I want to paint something on here. But a shape of some sort in a silhouette maybe even a tree or oh, here goes my earbuds with caught on the cord of the dryer which pulls my phone all right i'm ready to cut mine apart becky let's put this back let's put my paint away i'm gonna have to go through all my paint and sort out sort out what I need and don't need. All right, so let's get my trimmer out. And everything fell here. That's when you heard that big crash. So let's get the basket up. And when it fell, I think it unplugged my computer. Let's plug my computer back in. Let's see. And I get 
with hand strips for this. I think I'm good at She's getting ready to do lines. Oh, she's doing lines on hers on the back. She's just drawn lines. All right. So what I want to do is cut mine at two and a half, two and a half, two and a half, two and a half, and six this way. So I'm going to cut the two and a half first, which I'm cut over here first. Means I have to put it in this way. So two and a half. Not two and a half. I'm sorry. Three and a half. Three and a half. I goofed. Boy, I'm glad I didn't cut that. Three and a half. I'm making my postcards three and a half by five and a half. One. Three, four. Then we're going to cut this at six. Five and a half, I'm sorry, not six. Five and a half. Five and a half. Five and a half. Five and a half. You want the smallest. Five and a half. Five and a half by three and a half. Five and a half by three and a half. I'm not going to argue. Let's go ahead and do this. I got some chisel, new chisel markers. I'm going to add my borders first. I'm going to add my borders, and then I think I'm going to draw a silhouette, but I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to draw. So border, border, what should I draw, border, border, let's do the back. I might have to kind of sand the, I notice I have my sanding block out here, don't I? Somewhere. I saw it in here, didn't I? Or was it in that other box that I saw it? I can't find it. It must be in my other. It must be in my other box. Let's do this side. Let's 
I do that too. I keep one keep one for myself. And I'm I like to mail one to Becky because she does the DDs. But Becky, you don't have to always send to me. Oh, that's a good idea. That's a good idea. Write the names of people that you send the postcards to. I think I got my other contest sheet, though. So, But I like to send them to whoever wins it in the, I'm give, in the giveaway. There. These are really raggedy. I don't know what I did with my sander. I guess I'm going to leave them raggedy. Border. Border. I think I'll just write, do some art today on these. Could I do that decent with my marker? I mean, these are just hellos. They're just hellos, little hellos in the mail just to cheer up your day. I've taken to send, sending one to myself so it'll have the postmark on it. I think I'm going to write, do some, do some art today. Create some art today. Make, make, make some art today. Make some art today. Yeah, I got, I've got a mess over to my side. I've got a mess in front of me. I've got a mess behind me. I got a mess on each side of me. Yeah, this one's going to be a little thicker line, but that's okay. Make some art today. Do some art today. Make art today. Do art today. Make some art today. I think that's what I'm going to write on these, and then they'll be done. Mm -hmm. She's cutting hers up. This is use the marker prompt. So what is this? Use marker. I'm doing that on the back. So that's done. Add blue is done. Add border is done. So I'm adding, I'm using the marker on the back to write. Or I could use, say, use marker to do the words. I, I'm going to just say do some art today. I'm not going to belabor how it sounds. Do some art today. Have an artful day is what I've been saying.
she's doing doodly borders on hers. She's doing doodly borders on hers. I'm just doing solid black lines. Doodly borders. Ooh, those are pretty, Becky. I really do like how these turned out. At first, they were so geometric. It was bugging me. But once we did those scribble letters, once we did the scribble letters, I got away from that. And I'll probably stamp Penelope on the back. I don't know what I did with my flapper stamp. She might be way at the bottom of this bucket. I'll have to see. I'll have to carve another stamp for September. I'm not sure what. Last one. I may do a half doll. It won't happen tomorrow. I don't like gluing. I don't like gluing. I don't like gluing. There we go. So, let's turn it back over this way. Do I want it to go this way? I think I do. Do some art today. How's that? Do some art today. I kind of like that. They don't have to be perfect. These do not have to be perfect. These are just little hellos that will come to you in the mailbox. Just to say, oh, Mary sent this to me. Do some art. today. Do some art today. That's what I'm going to say. Do some art today. Do some art today. I started saying this at the end of my live streams. If you have some time, do some art today. My videos, I used to say, I will see you on the next page. Yeah, I agree. These mail good. I go to Walmart because that's where I have to go. <laughs> I have to go to Walmart because that's where that's where that's what's available in my area. Do some art today. Do some art.
she's talking about getting binders for four by six. You know, you could just go to the thrift store and pick up some of those photo albums. Well, I don't know about your area, but our area, Walmart's cheaper. <laughs> uh, we have some pretty expensive. Now, there is a little grocery store that I like to go to in a little town near here. But the grocery store that my brother goes to, they jack their prices up. But he's a loyal customer, so we go there. Last one. Do some art. Today. There we go. Now, let's just write on the back postcard. And I'll have these all ready for giveaway tomorrow. And I think the message I'll put on the back is just a little art hello. Uh, just a little arty hello on here. A little art hello, a little artful hello, a little arty hello. Postcard. Oops. Postcard. Oh, she's talking about stamping on the back. I should put Penelope on here. Postcard. Maybe I'll do that and just say it just a little hello. She reminded me to put Penelope on here. We'll do that because she she talked about it. So The flowers kind of got hidden in here, but I think you can kind of see them in the background. Postcard. Postcard. Now, I am adding a spray varnish. A spray varnish on the, my watercolor ones. Uh, it's not a, a it's not a, a clear coat varnish that you brush on or roll on, but uh, you spray it. It's a fixative because I just don't want to send those watercolor postcards through the mail without putting a fixative on it. It's a satin var uh, fixative. There. Now, since Becky talked about Penelope, let's go ahead and stamp her because she's right here. She's all in black. You can hardly see her anymore. But she stamps pretty good yet. Let's stamp her out, see what she looks like here. Let's stamp her on the front. Yeah, yeah, she does pretty good. My fingernails aren't so great anymore, but all right. Let's go ahead and stamp Penelope on here. And then I'll just write just a little hello on here. And I'll give these out in my live stream tomorrow morning. Except one's going to Becky, and I'm keeping one. And Becky, don't worry about You send me so much stuff anyway. You send the postcards to other people. I got one. 
that you're sending me from last week. So it hasn't come yet, but I know you're sending it. So one is enough. I'm good. Postcard. But I like to send to Becky because she hosts these Dirty Dozens. She hosts the Dirty Dozens. And there's my red spot right there. She's, Penelope's going to go right over it. <laughs> what are they chatting about out there? I turned chat off so that I could see Becky. Oh, she's got a red eye. That's okay. I'll probably keep that one for myself. <laughs> Cold and snow are four-letter words. They're saying. My brother was in the Navy. Aunt said that Scott was in the Navy. And he likes Maine. <laughs> That's what we know about Scott. Scott doesn't mind. He's a good guy. I got dirty hands. Forgive my dirty hands. That's what happens when you do a lot of art. I do clean them every day. Two or three times a day, four or five times a day. Every time I handle food, I clean them. There we go. All right. Now, because I did that, I've got to go in and give her some eyes. Where's my pen? Where's my Sharpie? Where's my Sharpie? There it is. All righty. Let's see. Becky, let's see if she sees this. Becky, did you send me gold Poscas. Let's put Aunt Beck above. At A A U Oh, she said it wasn't her. Somebody sent me white. I was asking if she sent me gold Poscas. Mindy, did you send me? Is Mindy in there? I'll have to catch Mindy tomorrow. Because I messaged Suzanne and she said she didn't send me the gold Poscas. Somebody sent me gold Poscas with no name. It, it's not Aunt Beck and it's not Suzanne. So the next suspect is Mindy. Or Lucia, I think Mindy, 
Mindy's the one who's been sending me Poscas. This one will come to me because she's got the red spot. Home Depot card. Hmm. All right, so let's just write, let's date it tomorrow, which is 9 5 19. And I'm going to put uh, Aunt Bex. Aunt Bex. Creations. DD. A nine four. Nineteen. And I'm just going to write just a quick. Little hello, little art, arty, a r t y hello, and I'm gonna sign it. And then I'm gonna write the Mary Altier, and then I'll give these away tomorrow. I'll put the address there, the stamp there, and the hello up here. I think I'll just say thank you. Thank you for stopping by my channel. Bye. My channel kind of squeezing it in there and then i have to put my address here and the other address there so let's do all of that and that's creations D D nine four nineteen nine five nineteen. Thank you for stopping by my channel. I'm not doing that for a month. Just a quick. I'm not doing that. Uh, four months bending freeze. Forget it. Artie. Little. Hello. Now I'm going to sign it. She dropped a ruler over the cliff. I love it. <laughs> well, Becky, I beat you tonight because I dumped my basket of supplies over. <laughs> she said, Mary, I dropped my ruler over the cliff. There we go. See, these will be all ready to give away tomorrow. Aunt Dex, you get to watch me do these creations. She's getting ready to sign off. 
9419. Thank you. She's getting ready to sign off. I'm going to sign off as soon as I get these written out. Thank you for stopping by my channel. Just a quick little arty a r t y arty little hello and then i just sign it the mary atia all righty very cool Aunt Vic's creations dd nine four nineteen thank you for stopping by my channel. Just a quick little arty Hello. Sign it. I like what Aunt Beck is saying about evacuating. I don't understand. I would get I would get out of there if there were, if I was in that hurricane stuff. You're playing even if you get safe one time, the next time you may not be so safe. But you have to do what you have to do and make your own decisions. I wouldn't do that. I'm listening to Aunt Beth. She's telling how to brayer the the clear coat across her. If she's saying how to brayer the clear coat across the cards. Party, hello. Alrighty. What? I have three left here. Aunt Beck's Creations. DD stands for Dirty Dozen. Nine, four, nineteen. See, so I just have these all done. I can give them away tomorrow. For stopping by my channel. Just a quick little party. A R T Y. Hello. And then I just sign it.
yeah, I don't think rain will affect these because this is craft paint. This is all craft paint and permanent marker, so I think I'm okay. Becky's getting ready to sign off. So she's she's saying good night. Nine four nineteen. Thank you. All right. Good night, Aunt Beck. Thanks for streaming. Thanks for doing the dirty dozen. Good night. She's signing off. I'm going to click off my video. I just got two left here. Thank you for stopping by my channel. I should say the Marriottier, but my channel fits. So I put the Marriottier down below. And then just a quick little arty, A-R-T-Y, hello. And I'm going to sign it. And then the Mary. Yay. One more. DD on nine four nineteen. Thank you for stopping. by my channel let's just write the message just a quick little r-d-a-r-t-y hello now sign it my channel the Mary RTA. Now all I have to do is give them away and address them, stamp them. <sighs> I feel like I need to do something on them though. I feel like they need something. What do they need? I want to put a red flower on it. No Mary no What a red flower look like. Where's my one with the red? Mary, stop. <laughs> Here. What would happen? Uh, my red is kind of a crimson color. Or maybe a, a leaf. Let's get my wax paper out. I, there's just something about them that isn't quite speaking to me yet. I feel like uh, I could even do it with a marker. How about a marker? Mary, Mary, Mary. Oh, let's see. Hold it. i got to take my earbuds out because I'm done listening to Becky. She signed off. Let's reach over here and get my beautiful marker box out. Wow. My beautiful marker box. I haven't used it since I closed it up. I have to part with the ways here to open it up. Uh-oh, did it stick? No. Look at that. All those beautiful markers. I want a red. This might work. Let's try a red and a, a greenish color. That's kind of a blue. Here's a dark green. Let's try these. Yeah, don't spill them now, Mary. Okay. This is mine that I'm going to keep for myself because it's got a red spot there. I feel like it needs, I feel like it needs a flower.
Let's outline that. I'm just not done. <laughs> I'm not done. I kind of like that. That added something to it. And let's put... Uh, Let's just add a leaf to it. I kind of like it. Really, that's all it needs, isn't it? See, look at the difference. Which one would you want to get in the mail? The one with the flower on it? Or the plain one? Don't you tell me the plain one. I know better. It just needed it. Let's, let's just do a, a stem and a leaf. And I am using marker over acrylic paint, so the black goes on pretty good, but these other colors are just, they're permanent markers, so I'm not too worried about them black accents it. There we go. Do you know what else it needs? Let's try it on the red, the one with the red dot. Um, what shall we put? Stitch marks? Those stitch marks. See, it just needs, it needs more. I'm not happy with it. It just needs a little touch of this and that. Yeah. It doesn't have to be a lot, just a little. Just a little message, just a little hello. Do some art today. So I got a red spot on her. I'm sending this to me. This write up me on here so that I won't goof and send it to somebody else. Put my own address on here. Or I'll just put my name. You won't see my address. And then I'll put my return address. I think I'll put it up here in smaller. On each one, my little return address will go up there. Okay. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. Let's put the post stitching on here. Did you see it just needed a, a, an extra little something on a border? This is the border. This is a continuation of the border. One was to do border. One of the four. Number four was to add border. This is the add border. All the others is, is uh, use marker. <laughs> yeah. now, let's put stitching here.
Now the flowers just kind of fall into the background, but that's fine. That's where they should be. Okay. So let's go and put all the flowers on and then we'll come back in and put all the black on. I don't have that many of them. It's not going to take forever to do this. If I would have known I was going to do this, though, I would have left more room up at the top. But you never know. You never know. And that's kind of what I was saying that when I was we were working on the prompts. And Becky was saying that she'll save off the prompts and, and so that other people can work, you know, just work down through them. But I don't like doing that because I'm too much of a planner. I'm too much of, if I see all the prompts listed at once, I want to read them all and then plan it all out. And this way, when I don't see what's coming next, I don't have time to plan. Uh, well, you know, I, I think about it. I don't just willy-nilly, but I don't sit and that flower's going to kind of get hid, but that's okay. Let's make it a little bigger. I don't have time to, you know, I have, barely have time to go get my stencil or to get my paint out. And it, it uh, for dirty dozens and pick tens, I do like working that way. Now, other art that I'm working on, I do like to plan out. Um, so I don't want to say that I'm doing it to learn how to not plan because that's not the case. Let's do the stem here. I just like for the dirty dozens, I like to do it all at once with, along and work along with Beck. There's one. Now I'll come back with the black on these so they'll show up better. outline these in black. Oh, yay! And then I do the stitching around it. Now, the black lines that you see in the background are from the scribble writing, and I actually used a paintbrush to do that. And uh, it says, do some art today. <laughs> and I brought that phrase out here with my marker. What you see here is the yellow flowers. And... Uh, 
my little squares on some of these you might see them but they pretty much got painted out i uh squished some of that paint what what one was that old oh, um sponged use a sponge was where i started uh, pushing all that into the background stamp with a household item i used wax paper to smear things and then I used yeah you understand what I did because you saw me do it if you watched this whole stream <laughs> which I'd be very surprised if you did and it doesn't bother me just skip around and and uh, look see you know look and see how the progress is going maybe look at the beginning for a little bit and look at 20 minutes in 30 minutes in, depending on how long your stream is. I don't expect you to sit in there and watch. I've been going for almost three and a half hours. This aren't today, but I'm just about done too. Whoops, I need to put stitching on these. Not done. You're not done. It doesn't take long. that one. Now I could probably spray these with that satin fixative, but it doesn't need a fixative. It can give it a, a satin coat, kind of give it a nice shine to it. But I don't, it doesn't need a fixative. There's, there's nothing that's going to run on this. So I'm not going to. It, the only reason I would do that would be to kind of varnish them. And I'm not going to bother with these. These are just fun. These are just funs. Have a little art day. Do some art today. Quick little hello. Have an art day, an arty day. Now, I have to, I would, I, I need to work up some silhouettes because a silhouette would have, would have looked really nice on here. Maybe like a half doll or a black cat or a house or a tree, you know, a silhouette might have looked nice on here. But while you're doing the dirty dozens, you know, you just don't have time. This is the one that's getting squished in there. It's okay. Almost done. Almost done. It'll take a little time for this to process video to render, so it probably won't go live till later. I think I'll schedule it. Well, I don't know. I think I'll just let it go public. And you probably won't see the end of it till later. Probably see my postcards in the live stream before you see this video. But that's okay, too. Not everybody likes to watch the live streams. Not everybody likes to watch long videos. Ah. <sighs> 
I try to do some short ones. I've been trying to get more shorter videos in, but even my shorter videos have ended up going 18, 20, 30 minutes. So I kind of quit doing that fast forward stuff. All right, let's let's uh, get these organized here. Do some art today. Let's see, I think I need to, well, no, I think I can get them all on here if I'm good here. One, two, three, four. Move my marker, so I have to put these back in the box. I can play pretty box. Yeah, close that maybe. And one. My Sharpie pen, I'll be looking for that tomorrow. Two, three, four. Let's zoom out one. And then let's put my Penelope stamp back so I'll know where to find her. And we did a Becky Doodle today. Let's see if I can get that out. I had it out here. My Becky Doodle. I hate it when I do these things and then I can't find them. in my journal. I can't find it. There it is. Here it is. We did a Becky Google. I'm going to have to put it sideways. Let's move my camera. So the Becky Doodles, I'll show one more time. Uh, she did telephones. She did staplers. She did the weather. I need to go in and put some sunshine on my, and gray clouds and snow. But she did the weather. She did sunny, partly cloudy, rainy, snowy, cloudy, and windy. We did school buses, tape dispensers, hoodies desk lamps, and cars. Hold it up here so you can see it better. All right. So I'm going to just put it back down here. And I'm going to sign off. I'm going to do a live stream tomorrow morning. Thursday morning is my regular live stream. I stream regularly on Tuesday and uh, Thursdays at 4.30 a.m. Central Time and on Friday nights at 7 p.m. 
Central Time. And then if I stream on Monday and Wednesday and Friday mornings at 4 a.m., they will be impromptu. I may or may not stream. So, thank you for watching. And if you have some time, do some art today. Bye, everybody.